to my channel my name is Angel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this super sexy foxy eyed makeup look so if you guys would like to see how I got this look then just keep on watching so jumping right into it my eyes are already primed brows are already done so I'm gonna be taking some tape yes tape I have never been to one the one to use tape um, with my makeup looks but look sis this is going to be easy and beginner friendly and the tape is just going to make it so much more easier. Alright, so now that I have my tape down, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using is this Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. Of course, I'm just using one palette um, and probably no more than like three or four colors. So the first shade I'm going to go into is this shade right here which is called Yoded. And I am using some super small brushes in this video. Um, the brush that I'm taking first is the Sigma E45 brush. And I'm basically gonna blend and keep everything super low. So I know that this color isn't doing very much, but it is going to serve as a transition. I am not blending any further than half of my eye. And like I said, I'm keeping everything super low. I love this Sigma E45 because it is tapered and it's going to get the eyeshadow exactly where you want it. And it's also good for blending out the shadow. So now that that shade is down, you guys can probably see it a little bit, um, especially since that tape is right there. But basically you're going to just blend everything like if you were doing a wing liner just pretty much using a brush so the next shade i'm going to take is this brown shade right here and i'm not even about to try to pronounce it it's the brown shade in the palette sis like juvia's place has some amazing eyeshadows but i'm never able to tell y'all the name like i suck at that <laughs> and i'm going to take the same brush and i'm going to go into that shade And then the very last shade that I'm going to use is this color in the palette. I was going to use the black, but I don't want it to be super dark. Like I want it to be kind of smoky, but not black black. So I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Wazana. And I'm going to use this super small, um, basically it's a liner brush. And I'm going to focus this right along the lash line and right below everything else I have already done and then I'm gonna smoke it out. And I'm just applying a little at a time and I'm also using this same brush just to smoke everything out um, because I don't have a blending brush that is this small um, but it just makes it super easy to just go ahead and smoke it out using the same brush. I am pretty much finished blending both of the eyes out. I'm just going to go ahead and take some um, wing liner. Well, why do I keep saying wing liner? Eyeliner. And I'm going to try to create the whole um, inner corner liner thing. Bear with me. And then to help that better blend, because I end up taking the eyeliner a little bit too far, I'm actually going to go ahead and take the black that's in this palette, which is this super black shade right here. And I'm just going to blend where the liner stops um, with this black liner, well, black shadow.
Wow, so I actually like it. I'm glad I decided to go ahead and put some black in there. Cause y'all know black can go zero to 100 real quick. Like it can mess you up like real quick. Like don't be playing around with black now. You use black gradually. You don't just go all in with that black like that sis. Don't do that. <laughs> You're looking real crazy, okay. I really want to do the whole foxy eye thing, but I'm scared y'all. Like I'm scared that I'm gonna mess myself up. So I'm thinking about waiting till after I finish my concealer or just leave it alone all together. <laughs> I really don't know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my tape off. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on these lashes. These are from AliExpress and these are A10s. I feel like these are gonna go perfect with this look. They're not the most.com. They're super wispy and they're not super thick or anything like that. So for primer, moving on to the face, I'm gonna be using my Becca primer. I need this, you guys. It is probably like three o'clock in the evening. I'm going to probably rock this makeup look for the rest of the day. It's like 90 degrees. Like it's really too hot to be wearing makeup. But sis, I wanna be cute today. And then for foundation, I'm taking this Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Amber Honey. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using this ColourPop concealer in the shade Dark 40. Then to set my face, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup powder. Y'all, I had to bring her back out because my last video, like, girl, I was like, I have been missing this. Oh my goodness, I have been missing this so much. I'm over here trying to get used to the whole foxy eyes because I keep looking. I'm like, oh my God, it's not perfectly straight, but it's not supposed to be perfectly straight, sis. It's supposed to be smoky and wingy and whatever else you want to call it. I had to get rid of that unibrow, sis. Had to, sis, vanish her because she was getting a little close. Sometimes I forget to do that, y'all. Hopefully I don't be looking too crazy. But when I do that, it just really helps my eyebrows to be a lot more even, especially at the beginning. But yeah, we had to get that unibrow up out of here. So I want to go ahead and set my face, of course, using my broken powder once again. I told y'all, we ain't wasting nothing around here. We using it all up, sis. But on a serious note, I'm really trying to stop buying stuff that I don't need and trying to stop being so wasteful and then of course I'm snatching my nose And then before I move on, I am going to try to create that little inner corner thing, if I can do it. Yay, I did it. I'm so happy y'all. Like this look turned out a lot better than expected. That is so pretty. I actually really, really like that. 
besides me about to tear up and cry I really do like that so I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply some um, black liner to my waterline because I'm kind of feeling this whole smoky foxy eyes makeup look I'm back so the moment I wanted to apply some black eyeliner to my bottom guess what I can't find it I cannot find my black um, eyeliner pencil like I have no clue where it is but of course we're gonna move on um so i'm just gonna take the black that was in this palette and apply it to my waterline i really wanted a black liner i'm so mad right now And you guys, this brush is amazing. This is the M508. If you don't have eyeliner and you prefer to use eyeshadows on your waterline, like this brush is so thin, like it's going to give you that whole eyeliner look. So now I'm just going to take some of my black mascara. And in my previous video, you guys, I fell in love with this bronzer. So I had to bring her back on out. This is the e.l.f. Um, bronzer in the shade Deep. It is absolutely gorgeous. It does have some shimmer to it, but I don't mind. And then for blush, I'm also going to use this Warrior 2 palette, the same palette that we use for eyeshadow. And I'm going to take this peachy shade right here and just apply it to my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm using this Wet n Wild highlighter. And this one is in Golden Flower Crown. y'all know lately like just a little bit like that's it that's enough like we're not gonna overdo it my face is already gonna be oily anyway so just a little bit that's enough i think this is me slowly weaning myself off of um the whole highlighter thing i don't know i still like a little but yeah not too much and then moving on to the lips, I am going to be taking this lip liner. This is uh, the NYX lip liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. And then I'm going to take some of this um, liquid lipstick from NYX and this is their cream liquid suede in the shade Sandstorm. And then for gloss I'm using this Lorac lip gloss in the shade Entrepreneur. Actually, I lied. I'm just going to go ahead and use some of my good old clear gloss. And I'm just going to put it like right on top of it. Because I don't want the lip color to change too much. I just want it to be a little bit more shiny. So I put on my gloss and I love the gloss you guys like the lips are everything the eyes are everything too this whole look wait let me fill in my mold real quick I forgot to do that 
but y'all this look is everything like i love the lips they just pretty much blend in with all of this melanin i have going on over here so this is the pretty pretty much the finished look y'all i always underestimate myself i'm like you know what i can't do that whole foxy eye thing it looks way too hard and then guess what i get on camera and i kill it this is the first time that i did it i have not practiced it or anything y'all and i think i did a darn good job especially with this part right up in here i was a little nervous sis but you know i make it happen so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as i did i definitely see myself doing this look um for going out like a girls night out date night um, maybe clubbing i definitely can see this look again um, me creating it again so if you liked it go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and if you like the channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can become a part of the game remember to be blessed and follow your dreams and i will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.